class of 2020. Welcome to virtual class nine. I know that this is not happening the way that we hoped it would or the way that we planned on it happening, but we still have lots to celebrate. Most of y'all know me, but if you don't, my name is Sydney Buckner and I am the president of SGA and also a fellow graduate. I'm so proud of y'all and for all the awesome ways that you've responded to this crazy situation and how well you've come through it. I know this has not been easy and it definitely hasn't been fun, but I'm so proud to be a part of this awesome class and get to watch all of the ways you've overcome these difficulties, whether in the past few months or the past four years, you've overcome a lot of stuff and that is so awesome. I'm so proud to call myself a graduate of the class of 2020 because of all my amazing classmates, you all. So congratulations and I'm so excited to get to celebrate all of y'all tonight and all of your accomplishments from passing our classes to getting scholarships. I can't wait to see how this class of 2020 is gonna change the world. Welcome to class night of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to introduce you to the Hickson Senior Court of 2020. Molly Bishop and Aaron Duke, Kirby Brown and Cameron Holmes, Morgan Buxton and Jeremiah Shackelford, Suhani Patel, Jeremy Thomas, Rachel Thorne and Eric Trujillo. Miss Molly Grace Bishop. Molly is the daughter of Carrie and Mark Bishop. She is a member of FBLA, National Honor Society President, Leadership Co-President, SGA, FCA, Soccer Captain, Track Captain, Member of the Cross Country Team, Senior Lineup, and Top 10% of her senior class. She is a member of Hickson United Methodist Church. Miss Bishop plans to attend the University of Tennessee to pursue a degree in elementary education. Molly's quote is, People will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Maya Angelou, Miss Molly Grace Bishop. Mr. Aaron Tucker Duke. Aaron's parents are Ed and Angela Duke. Aaron is a member of HOSA, NHS, and has played soccer for Hickson for the past three years. Aaron has also earned his personal training certification through the Health Science Institute. Aaron attends Rock Point Community Church, he will be attending Bryan College on a soccer scholarship and pursuing a degree in health and exercise science. Aaron's quote is, the dictionary is the only place that success comes before work. Work is the key to success and hard work can only help you accomplish anything. Vince Lombardi. Mr. Aaron Duke. Miss Kirby Carolina Brown. Kirby is the daughter of Trisha and Steve Brown. Kirby has been a member of Hickson's basketball team and team captain. She is a member of NHS, HOSA, Human Performance Clinical Coordinator, and a certified personal trainer. Kirby will play basketball for Roan State Community College in the fall and plans to major in sports management and administration. Ms. Brown's quote is, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. In all ways submit to him and he will make all your paths straight. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Miss Kirby Carolina Brown. Mr. Cameron Holmes. Cameron is the son of Maxine and Clarence Holmes. Cameron plays football for Hickson High School and volunteers at Morning Point. Mr. Holmes attends New Horizon Baptist Church and plans to attend Chattanooga State Community College in the fall. Cameron's quote is, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. In the life which I know, live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cameron Holmes. Miss Morgan Sidney Buxton. Morgan is the daughter of Michelle and Sidney Buxton III. She is co-president of leadership, a member of NHS, HOSA, Hickson High School's track and field, and an active member of the Health Science Institute of Sport and Human Performance. Ms. Buxton attends New United Missionary Baptist Church. She plans to attend MTSU in the fall and major in athletic training and secondary education. Morgan's favorite quote is, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Everything happens for a reason. Life is amazing. It is what it should be. No such thing as a life is better than yours. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Morgan Sidney Buxton. Mr. Jeremiah Shackelford. Jeremiah is the son of Jonas and Amanda Shackelford. He's an active member of the JROTC program at Hickson High School where he earned 150 hours of community service. He excelled as flight commander and squadron commander by leading over 40 cadets. 
he accomplished his Equal Scout project for JROTC. He's a member of the wrestling and baseball team, SGA, and Boy Scouts of America. Mr. Shackerford attends the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Jeremiah will serve a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints starting in the fall. After his mission, he plans to attend a school with an AF ROTC program and graduate as a commissioned officer in the U.S. Air Force. Jeremiah's quote is, Gold medals aren't really made of gold. They're made of sweat, determination, and a hard-to-find alloy called guts. Dan Gable. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeremiah Shackelford. Miss Suhani Patel. Suhani is the daughter of Jay and Kapana Patel. Suhani is an active member of HOSA, earning her CNA license. She is a certified nursing assistant mentor and a certified medical assistant. Suhani is secretary of NHS, served on the senior council, and was on the custom vans team and senior lineup. Suhani plans to attend UTC in the fall and major in biology and then apply to medical school. Ms. Patel's quote is, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you do know better, do better. Maya Angelou. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Suhani Patel. Mr. Jeremy Thomas. Jeremy is the son of Tony Kerrigan and Greg Thomas. He's an active member of SGA, Key Club, and Golf. Mr. Thomas earned over 250 hours of community service through the JROTC program at Hickson High School. He earned most outstanding 12th grade cadet and two national level JROTC awards. Jeremy attends Christian Faith Church. Jeremy plans to join the U.S. Air Force and pursue a degree in theology. His quote is, don't judge someone by the size of the flippers, judge someone by the size of their heart. Matthew McConaughey. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeremy Thomas. Miss Rachel Irene Thorne. Rachel is the daughter of Jim and Colleen Thorne. Rachel is president of Key Club, co-captain of the Drumline, and a member of National Honor Society, yearbook staff, choir, crochet club, and On Point. Rachel plans to attend the University of Tennessee and get a double major in environmental studies and geology and elementary education. Her quote is, shout out to us guys because this year was one thing after another and here we are on the other side. Cheers. Miss Rachel Irene Thorne. Mr. Eric Trujillo is the son of Rigoberto and Jacqueline Trujillo. Eric participated in JROTC his freshman and sophomore year. He's an active member of HOSA and involved in the nursing program as a certified nursing assistant. Eric attends Pilgrim's Rest Baptist Church and his quote is, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. Eric plans to attend MTSU in the fall and major in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Trujillo. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mr. and Ms. Hickson for 2019-2020. Ms. Hickson for 2019-2020 is Ms. Kirby Carolina Brown. Mr. Hickson for 2019-2020 is Mr. Jeremiah Shackelford. We're very proud of all of our high school graduates and what each has been able to accomplish during their high school career but there are two students who have exceeded the expectations and learned the two highest academic spots. The valedictorian and salutatorian are wonderful examples of what hard work and diligence can have on a high schooler's career when given the proper learning environment. Our valedictorian and salutatorian aren't just academically gifted, they are well-rounded students who have each contributed to Hickson High School's leg legacy in their own way. It is my honor to recognize this year's valedictorian, Ms. Sarah Barterstock, and this year's salutatorian, Ms. Suhani Patel. We know these young ladies will go on to accomplish great things and, and continue to contribute to the shining examples of Wildcat achievement. Hello, I'm Jill Moses from Hickson High School. I have the pleasure of presenting the Faculty Award. The Faculty Award, um, Hickson High School faculty annually presents an award to a senior who is best all around as a student based on scholarship, service to the school, conduct, and achievement. 
This year's 2020 Hickson High School Faculty Award is presented to Kirby Brown. Congratulations on your graduation, Class 2020. It's my privilege to present the Melbourne C. Malcolm Award, established in 1995 and named in honor of a former Hickson High assistant principal. This award is given to a senior who demonstrates good citizenship, patriotism, devotion to family, service to church and community, political activism, strong support of the armed forces, and most importantly, an ardent desire in preserving our freedoms outlined in the United States Constitution are the traits of this recipient. Tonight's recipient demonstrates all these traits, along with a very hard work ethic, sense of responsibility, and respect to others. This young lady holds a special dear place in my heart as she's been with our ROTC program for the last four years. It's my honor and privilege to present the Melbourne C. Markham Award to Rebecca Jeter. Congratulations. The Balfour Award is given every year to a Hickson High senior to honor four years of service to their school. This year's recipient has served the school through leadership in the band and in the chorus. She has also been a member of the National Honor Society where she's completed countless service hours to the school and the community. But I know her best through her activities with the Key Club. As president of the Key Club, she has revitalized the Hickson High Key Club, helped to double its membership, and participated in countless community service hours to both school and community. On top of that, she has encouraged others to serve the school and the community. It is my pleasure to announce that the recipient of this year's Balfour Award is Miss Rachel Thorne. Hello, my name is Lee Friedlander, and it is my honor and privilege to present this year's Kid Rushworth Effect. The Kid Rushworth Effect Award, named after two longtime Hickson faculty members that demonstrated a commitment to servant leadership through their timeless efforts to prioritize not only academics, but also the, tradi the traditions and the culture of Hickson High School. This award is presented annually to a senior who the faculty believes best demonstrates the ideals of leadership Mrs. Suzanne Rushworth and Mrs. Ginny Kidd embody. The recipient of the Kid Rushworth Effect Award for the class of 2020 is Ms. Sydney Buckner. Sydney was nominated and voted upon by the Hickson faculty to be recognized with this award because of her tireless devotion to the service of others through leadership roles, as well as quiet behind the scenes service. Please join me in congratulating Sydney Buckner as the recipient of the Kid Rushworth Effect Award. Thank you. The Everett R. Fairchild Award is given to the Hickson Senior that both faculty and students recognize for their loyalty, excellent attendance, wildcat spirit, and leadership in both community and school-related activities. It's not just that this year's recipient does those things, it's how she does them that makes her so unique, with a grace and kindness that serve all those around her. It's my honor to present this year's Everett R. Fairchild Award to Ms. Suhani Patel. Congratulations, Suhani. The Thomas O'Day Award is given in honor of a 1953 to 1959 Hickson High School principal. This award is presented to a senior who has proven herself against the odds and succeeded in her time at Hickson High School. She has proven to be dependable and we are proud and will continue to be proud of her being a Wildcat. This year's 2020 recipient goes to Miss Caitlin Woods. The faculty annually presents the PTSA award to a senior who is outstanding in leadership, scholarship, character, and service. I am proud to be presenting the 2020 PTSA Award to a student who really is outstanding in all of these characteristics. This student is graduating at the very top of her class. 
She's an outstanding art student and has exhibited public art all over town, bringing positive attention to that program. She's served in leadership for Future Farmers of America. She has played her heart out on the Wildcat soccer field, as well as in our orchestra as a violinist. She's competed fiercely with our archery team. I am so glad to know this student, and I am excited to see where her very bright future takes her. The 2020 PTSA award recipient is Sarah Bargerstock. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Leanne Plumley, and I'm introducing the George W. Oaks Ox Award. George W. Oaks Ox was mayor of Chattanooga from 1893 to 1897 and the chairman of the Board of Education from 1896 to 1899. This award was created by his family to honor citizenship, public service, and leadership to this community. The award is presented to a student that has demonstrated outstanding citizenship and commitment to service. The stipulations of the family are that the award be books and that the winner's name be added to a permanent plaque that hangs at Hickson High School. It is fun giving this award because I got to go buy books. The recipient of this award has been described as one who leads by example. She doesn't seek the limelight, but willingly works quietly and diligently to get the job done. As the boxer Joe Lewis once said, you only live once, but if you do it right the first time, once is enough. This young lady is doing it right. She has a helpful nature and a good sense of humor. She is a good student and a positive example to others. The recipient of this year's George W. Oaks Ox Award is Molly Bishop. Now Molly is receiving the following books. Because I know that Molly is going to attend UTC in the fall to become a teacher, I had to get her a book because I had a teacher. And Teach Like a Champion. I also know that Molly loves Harry Potter, so she got an unofficial Harry Potter cookbook and the book that all seniors need are Oh, the Places You Will Go, with many more treats in her bag. Congratulations, Molly. Character is defined as the mental and moral qualities that are distinctive to an individual. The Regina Smith Character Award is given each year to a student with outstanding positive character. This year was a very tough decision, as we have many students in the class of 2020 that fit the bill, but ultimately the committee agreed that this young woman is the most deserving of the recognition. Cassidy Yarborough has exemplified the utmost positive character during her time at Hickson High School. Not only is she a hard worker and actively involved in many aspects of Wildcat life, but she always has a positive attitude. She works diligently in all of her classes and extracurricular activities, and she's a leader and a mentor to her peers. I have had the privilege of getting to know Cassidy this year, and I can vouch wholeheartedly that she has exceptional mental and moral qualities. Congratulations, Cassidy. You are the 2020 recipient of the Regina Smith Character Award. The local chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution gives an award every year for excellent performance in American history. The award this year is presented to Miss Emily Clack. The local chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution awards a student each year for good citizenship. Good citizenship is defined as service to their community, their school, their family. This year's recipient of the Good Citizenship Award is Miss Rachel Thorne. I will now present the 2020 Gerald R. Bailey Award. Gerald R. Bailey was a teacher, assistant principal, and principal of Hickson High School who strongly encouraged parental involvement. Upon his retirement in 1994, the faculty created an award in his name recognizing a parent of a graduating seniors whose service to the school has been extraordinary. Each class includes parent volunteers who donate their time to athletic programs, music programs, clubs, and many activities that encourage your high school experiences. This year's honoree has been a Wildcat mom for several years and is a parent of her third Hickson graduate. She has, been, she has given many hours of volunteer time over the years that her children have attended our school. She has worked in the front office, served on a PTSA, 
and has spent countless hours volunteering for the band. It is my privilege to present Miss Doreen Davis with the 2020 Gerald R. Bailey Award. Hello everyone, my name is Jill Moses. I'm a um, business teacher here at Hickson High School. This year I had two seniors successfully pass the Google Suite certification. I would like to congratulate them, Nishil Patel and Cameron Wilson. Congratulations guys, I'm so proud of you.
the senior class of 2020 has been offered over seven and a half million dollars worth of scholarships. Um, who knew that the school year would end like this? And you all continue to do, to do the work, get your applications in. I still hear of offers being made every day. Um, and I'm just so proud. I cannot wait to see what you all do um, in the future. And with that being said, we have three more scholarships that need to be announced. We have the Everett Fairchild Scholarship, and then we have two MTSU scholarships as well. The Everett Fairchild Scholarship was, the recipient was chosen based on leadership qualities demonstrated at school, um, in their community, their place of worship. It's a $1,000 one-time award, and the recipient that was chosen is Aaron Duke. Congratulations, Aaron. Be on the lookout in your email, and I'll let you know what to do next. The other two scholarships were specific for Hickson High students that were enrolled at MTSU in the fall. It's a one-time $2,500 award, and we get to award two recipients of that scholarship. Um, the winners are Morgan Buxton and Madison Flintroy. Congratulations. We are so proud of all of you. Morgan and Madison, uh, be on the lookout in your email, and I'll let you know what to do next. Thank you guys so much. Have a great summer. Congratulations, Class of 2020. My name is Terry Braswell Gilbert. I'm with Class of 1979. I'm here to award the Hickson High School Centennial Alumni Scholarship. We had a lot of great candidates, a lot of great essays, but two really stood out this year. We'd like to award this year's scholarship to Autumn Coonrod and Hassan Haroon. We can't wait to see what you do. Hello, Class of 2020. It's Jeremy Thomas, and today is Saturday, and tomorrow I will be leaving with Christian Lewis to embark on a new journey of our lives and we will be leaving from the Honor Guard in the United States Air Force. Um, I'm sorry to say that I will not be leaving you with my speech. The speech was too long. I'm sorry, Ms. Farnell, Ms. East, and Ms. Price, but I do want to leave you with one thing. The one thing that I learned the most in high school was that you never burn bridges. Um, I'll see y'all for the rest of my lives. Doesn't matter where we're working, doesn't matter how we're working, just matters that I will be seeing y'all. Um, Thank y'all so much for letting me embark on the four years um, that we had together. And I hope we get to meet again. This isn't a goodbye. This is a one day we'll see each other again, um, ever long, as Foo Fighter says. So I love you all. Um, keep your thoughts and prayers with me and Christian. And I hope to see y'all once again. Um, thank you for the officials, um, for letting us to still have a graduation and still have a class night. Um, Please be safe, families be safe, um, and we finally are alumni, and so I hope y'all have a wonderful night. Take care, and be safe. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat.